Hello guys, girls, and I'm Benary Pals. Welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over how you can make a hectic gill with botanist patch 6.0 and onward. This will go over what you can do low level, max level now and in the future as patches progress. And of course, any and all lists will be down below. And YouTube members, Twitch subs, Discord boosters all get access to these lists a bit earlier. But with all that being said, let's get into it. But before we do start, of course, each section has its own timestamps and the format of the video being a little bit different from my past gathering only videos. So do keep that in mind, but of course we will cover everything here and you only need your botanist. And let's just start off with botanist gathering as a whole. And this is of course omitting any time notes, master book notes, and collectible gathering as they will have their own sections. But if you are not yet max level, I do have something that I really recommend that you use. Now we are in team craft and under the retainer ventures tab. What this is used for is of course for your retainer retainer to see which are the best ventures to go and send them out on. But it also works for us since we can go ahead and put our current level, current item level, gathering and perception, we can easily see what would be the best for us to go ahead and start gathering because it shows us the most expensive price per our own server. So let's say I'm a botanist at level 80, I'll lower my stats down to 2,500 and my item level to 400. Now I can easily see everything that is worthwhile for me to gather at my level and at my stats. But also keep in mind, make sure the items that you're about to go ahead and gather are actually bought. I know for a fact that purple carrot definitely sells because it is used for something called the superior spirit bond potion it is the highest level of spirit bond potion that we have in the game currently and everyone uses this when they're crafting a ton of food or potions or in general a lot of crafts so if i at level 80 i can go ahead and gather purple carrots at 881 per each but let's go down to a lower level and put in level 50. now i'm not going to change the stats all i want is to see what are the best selling level 50 and under gatherables. So right away I see red pigment, brown pigment, and a little bit of yellow and purple pigment are selling especially well, probably due to the increasing amount of people getting a house. I also see island seedlings and desert seedlings also up. These are a level 20 and 20 gatherable. They're going up also because of housing. So again, this is a great way to check what is indeed the best for your server since all servers are different and your level can also vary. But if you are max level, then I do recommend coming and checking the Endwalker botanist gatherable list that I have down in the description below. From here, you can easily see the most expensive items on your server that are from Endwalker. Now, of course, for me, it seems to be that the Athabnerian corn, the iceberg lettuce, the Athabnerian perilla leaf, and the palm syrup seem to be the best, but I do have things you should definitely keep in mind whether you're an Endwalker or not. Keep your eye out for common food items. Stuff like palm syrup sells especially well because thousands are bought per day because it's needed for a ton of popular culinary food. Take a look if it is a culinary or alchemist material. Take a look at what it needs and if there's something that a botanist can gather it, then you should go ahead and gather it because a ton is going to be bought per day. Also, keep an eye out for new releases. Any new food, new furniture, especially since of the new furniture just released in patch 6.15, the red pine log jumped up in sales and now people are buying it more than ever. If you were selling pine logs on the day of the patch, you would have made a ton. Even if you went on the patch day and gathered a few, came back and posted them, you would have still made a ton. Also, new releases by a new master books or new time notes as the expansion progresses. This is also a great way to go ahead and make a ton of gel with your botanist. Also, take a look at very popular common housing items especially since a lot of housing items require a carpenter, which in turn uses lumber, which in turn uses logs. Also, take a look at commonly used leveling items 
A lot of them require something like flax, and flax will always be relevant because you need a lot of it to go ahead and level up your weaver. So just because whether you're an endwalker or not, you can still make a ton of gil with your botanist. Now let's move on to time notes and master book notes. What time notes are, are basically just notes that only appear at certain times throughout the day. You can either show up once per every 30 minutes or once per every hour. Now I will start with Lemonette. It is by far one of the best currently for botanists, specifically because it is used to make Sai Von Vani, which is usually the best leaf quest craftable. And what do I mean by that? I would go ahead and compare it to the coffee biscuits from last expansion. But you do need this Lemonette and people buy a lot at a time, which is something that you're looking for. The Terea Log is also pretty good. It is used for one of the most popular housing items, one of the windows that is used in a lot of builds, and it does see at around the 900 to 1000 mark. Especially if you have a carpenter, you can turn this into a Terea Lumber and make even more money that way. And next is the Old Growth Camperwood Log. This is also a timed masterbook node, and it is used for a lot of trial weapons. Now, once again, we're also taking a look at number one, things that sell well. Number two, stuff that is newly released when the brand new of the round weapons for Sage, Reaper, Gunbreaker, and Dancer released. This was going for a ton more, specifically because it is needed for those weapons and people wanted it quick. So keep your eye out for any newly released trial weapons. Stuff like the Lignum Vitae Log will undoubtedly be used for the next set of Shadowbringers trial weapons. So whenever it does happen, take a look, make sure you have the time nodes if necessary unlocked, go ahead and gather and post. And I also have the all masterbook and worthwhile time nodes botanist gatherable list, which you can go ahead and take a look to make sure that the prices on your server either match mine or you can find something that sells even better or whatever fits for you. Again, the old growth, the teak log, the terea log, lemonette, these all seem pretty good. And of course, the endwalker collectibles, the double-edged herb, the golden cocoon, and the Thabnerian corn will sell a lot of the time and for a decent price. But just because something is in a master book doesn't mean it's gonna sell good. Take a look at the Memphis Sand log. This goes for 20 gil per each, which is kind of insane to me. A stack of 99 is less than 2k gil. If you want to know why it's like this, I actually don't know. I don't know why it's so cheap. It's kind of crazy to me, and I haven't really seen this happen since around the middle of Shadowbringers, but this is the fact, and that's how it is. Particularly, it also could be just my server, my data center. It could be different on yours, but of course, before you do go ahead and start blindly gathering something just because it's from a master book, be sure to check how well it sells and for how much. You can also make a ton of gil with aether sands. Now I do have a list we'll go ahead and look at in a moment with all the aether sands across all expansions, but particularly I will go ahead and start gathering the age wood aether sand. Now currently age wood aether sand is something that I need as a crafter, but also sells better than the current endwalker aether sands, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe it's because there is some demand and not enough supply, but overall it is twice as much as Endwood, so that's why I'm here in Lakeland instead of an Endwalker zone. Again, if you're interested in it gathering Aether Sands, I do have a separate video with rotations and all the locations. If you want to learn more about Aether Sand gathering, then you can click up to the right. But we're here in the list in Teamcraft, and of course this is down in the description below, but overall a lot of the older Aether Sands do tend to sell a lot better, and especially the 11 Strike Aether Sand sells for a whole lot more, and there is so much demand. We looked at this a little bit earlier, but again, this is a great way to quickly see where you need to go, how you need to get it, what level it requires, and what sells for the best. So I do recommend looking at this list. Now, next up are scripts, and usually you really can't go wrong with this. You will always make money, and you will always sell these items, because usually it's materia, and people will always need materia. But let's start with purple gather scripts, farming and spending, and of course, I have a list for this. 
Team Craft is great because it shows you exactly where you can go ahead and get these items, what bait you need, where, what weather, and so on and so forth. This has Fisher, Miner, and Botanist, so scroll down for Botanist. That way you can see where and when you can go and gather it. But let's go and see what should we go ahead and spend our scripts on. You can do that by, of course, going to the pricing mode, filling in all the information by clicking the button, and now we can go and see what we should spend our scripts on. Now this is per 2,000 scripts, meaning you can get 10 Aether Sands for 2,000 scripts or 4 Materias, but let's say with my 2,000 scripts, for me on my server, the best thing to spend on would be the Guerdon Materia 10. I would make 37,000 gil per 2,000 scripts. Next would be the Moonlight Aether Sand, 1,283 per 20 per 2,000 scripts. And the Guile is also pretty good. This is a very easy and quick way to see what would be best for you and where you can go and find all the items that you need. Now this is the White Gather script spending and farming list. And of course, go down to the bottom to get all the botanist gatherables. But you also can see how many times you need to gather per to get 2,000 scripts. I do have a lot of the lower level gatherables, so do keep that in mind, but now we can go ahead and check what we should spend on. So with white gather scripts, there's a whole lot more you can go ahead and spend on, but we can easily see at the minute the Guile Materia 9s at 4,600 per 8 is pretty good. I've been making it for 2,000 scripts, 37,000. The 11 strike ether sands are also pretty good. I can buy 66 per 2,000 scripts, and I can make 346,000. Of course, let's make sure that is it is actually being bought. And sure enough, it is indeed being bought. Now it is one to one to one, but this is just on Ragnarok. Let's go ahead and take a look on my market floor. And yep, sure enough, it is being bought and quite a lot at a time, especially. And this is actually really good and I might go ahead and do this because you can buy a ton of 11 strikes with 2000 scripts. So of course, always take a look whether something is good or not. You can also buy some stuff that is for the house specifically, especially garden gravel I know sells quite well. I can buy 26 of them at 10,000 a piece and easily make 272,000. Also the carpet of flowers, 26 for 12k each, I can make 327,000. So once again, take a look at the list, see what works best for you on your server, and all of this will be down in the description below. Now let's move on to some miscellaneous items. First off are, of course, maps. You can go and get this with any gatherer, but that is no different from a botanist. But of course, take a look what works best for you. I do have a entire map list, but even if you're not yet max level, a lot of the lower level maps do still sell quite well and sometimes for even more than the most current ones. As a botanist, you can also gather crystals, clusters, and shards. This is across all levels. You do need to be at least level 50 to go ahead and start gathering clusters, but you can make a ton from fire and water clusters and lightning as well since these are especially needed for a lot of end game crafting. You can also get all the logs that you have gathered and go ahead and craft them into lumber. Sometimes lumber is tends to sell a little bit better than the logs, especially since people are lazy or don't have that specific crafter yet level. As you can see, Legnum Vitae also sells very well, the Terea Lumber sells exceptionally well, and stuff like Astral Birch is a lot more expensive, but it is needed for a lot of housing items. It's not just logs and lumber, it is also cloths as well, like the Holy Rainbow Cloth. Even lower level cloths like Undyed Felt still sell exceptionally well. And just like my last video with crafter scripts, we can go ahead and do a little bit of the synthesis with the Gather White Script Trailblazer set specifically with the Trailblazer's slops and the Trailblazer's shoes. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn in some of these cyclones and go ahead and de-synthesize and see exactly what we get. So from the shoes, I got two circles of Archeonis leather, one circle of Wyvern leather, and three Demi Materia 2s. And from the swaps, 
I just got only rainbow cloth, but you were still able to go ahead and get other things out. And from the slops, I only got only rainbow cloths, but of course, that is the nature of the synthesis, but I will go ahead and show you the potential rewards. With the shoes, you have the potential to get the Archeonis leather, wyvern leather, hillcraft demi materia 2, at least 1 to 3, and clear demi materia 3s that sell for 5,000 gil to a vendor. With the slops, you can get the holy rainbow cloth, rainbow thread, the same Gilcraft Demi Materia 2s, and a clear Demi Materia 3, which is the same that sells for 5,000 gil to the vendor. But let's go and see how much the leather and the holy rainbow cloth costs on my server. The holy rainbow cloth goes for around 2.5. 3 to 2.6 and sells very well. The Archeonis leather sells for around 800 to 8,000. The Liven leather sells for around 2.6 thousand per one. And the Fuelcraft dummies sell for around 2.6, but it is steady at 3,000 to 4,000. It also depends on your server, so of course I have a synthesis list down below so you can see whether or not the synthesis with your scripts is worthwhile. You can also make a ton of gil with the diadem. Now, how you unlock the diadem, I'll put it down in the description, but I will be making an in-depth video about the diadem for both Minor, Botanist, and Fisher at a later date. But for now, particularly I pay attention to grade 4 materials, these tend to sell the quickest, and these are what I need for myself as a crafter. But overall, the thing that you should look out the most for are the timed nodes that show up periodically. And here it just spawned while I was here and I just picked whichever one of these I needed for myself for crafting. But overall, a lot of the time node items sell quite well. As you can see here, the log is actually quite cheap on my server, but the other gatherable that I had in my inventory that is also a timed node actually sells for a lot more. So of course, take a look before you go ahead and start gathering at what you should be aiming for. But overall, gathering as a botanist in the diadem is also good because of the sky builder scripts that you get. You can go ahead and spend them here in the firmament. It is the same scripts that you get from crafting, but overall, you can buy a lot with the sky builder scripts. Glamour, mounts, emotes, there's a ton and a ton that is being sold daily for a whole lot. That was how you can make a ton of gil with your botanist in patch 6.0 and onwards. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this could give you an idea of whether or not you are max level or not and it set you on the right path with your botanist. Once again, thank you everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye-bye!